my name is Grace. Today I will talk about a story. Uh, um, she is. Um, hello, my name is Love, and I am new here. I'm gonna read Bible story together. So, chapter twenty six. I twenty eight. Now, now I'm God. Naaman was a great army com commander. commander in Syria. He was a brave soldier, but he had a troubled skin This <laughs> first called his Mercy, Naaman's Israel servant, go said, go see the prophet Elisha in Israel. He can heal you. Naaman took many gifts with him. He took the king's letter to the king of Israel. He reached Elias home by his church. Elisha sent out a man with a message. Wash yourself seven times in the Jordan. You will be healed. At first, Muhammad was mad at Elisha. He said it was a silly thing to do. Elisha doesn't even come out to see me. He doesn't even pray for me. In the name of God, he doesn't even touch me. Jordan is not the only river. Nahaman was mad and tried to go back home. On his way home, his servants told him, Please go to the Jordan. This is not a hard thing to do. You just wash yourself. Nahaman went to the Jordan as Elijah said. He washed himself even Seven times, Naaman's skin became clean like that of a child. His skin disease was gone. Naaman was very happy. Naaman came back to Elisha. He tried to give Elisha gifts. Elisha didn't accept the gifts. Elisha told him to serve God. Naaman was healed. He did what Elisha said. Elisha told him about God. Chapter 29 Joshua Joshua repaired repaired the temple. King Josh loved God. He didn't want God pleased. He wanted his people to do what God pleased. He wanted his people come to God's temple of the. God's temple was not in good shape. People didn't take good care of the temple. I have to repair the house of God. King Joash made up his mind to repair it. I need money to do it. Make a big box to tell of <laughs> collect offer things and put it outside the temple. King Joshua come Josh. Ah. Josh. <laughs> King Josh 
commented. I commented. People were happy to help repair the temple. They brought offerings. When the box was full, King's servants took the offerings out and put the box back. King Josh collected a lot of money to repair the temple. <laughs> King Joshua gave them, Josh gave um, the money to the workers. He hired, hired, uh, hired, mas, maize, maize, and carpenters. He hired works, workers, workers for. Metal work. They worked very hard. They repaired. <coughs> repaired the temple very well. They rebuilt the temple of God according to this. It's, it's, it's original. Original. Design. Design. <laughs> they made things for God's temple with the rest of the money. The temple became a worship place. The temple became a happy place. Building chap do you want to read first? Okay. <laughs> Chapter thirty Building a New Wall. Nehemiah was a servant of a Persian king. Persian king. One day, Nehemiah heard some sad news at the palace. The wall of Jerusalem was broken down. The gates of Jerusalem was, were burned. Nehemiah cried several days. He prayed without eating anything. The king asked Nehemiah, Why are you so sad? Nehemiah answered, The temple of God in my country is ruined. The gates of the city are burned with fire. The king liked Nehemiah, the king was worried. He asked Nehemiah, What do you want me to do for you? Nehemiah answered, Send me home. Please allow me to rebuild the wall. You may go re rebuild the wall and I will give you give whatever you want, say the king. <sighs> the king gave Nehemiah blocks to build the wall. He took the blocks and returned home. Nehemiah met helpers. They began to rebuild the wall. Some people didn't want to rebuild the wall. Some, some, uh, some, some, and to be honest, were very angry at the idea. <laughs> they laughed it at the people of Israel. They tried it to harm Nehemiah. They tried it to hurt the people of Nehemiah. They didn't want to rebuild the wall. God helped Nehemiah build the wall. God helped Nehemiah put up the gates of the city. Nehemiah did what God wanted him to do. It was not easy to rebuild the wall. They rebuilt the wall with God's help. They, the friends of Nehemiah came to see the wall. They thanked for God helping Nehemiah. They thanked God for making Nehemiah rebuild the wall. Chapter 31 The Brave Queen Esther. Haman is going to kill the people of Israel. Uncle Mordecai said to the Queen Esther, What do you want me to do? said Esther. 
Please ask the king to help us, Esther, said Mordecai. But Esther couldn't do it. Esther could go to the king only. When he wanted, Esther was an Israel. She was the queen of the person, King Zerzi. Mordecai was a guard at the gate. Haman was the king. Chief helper, he hated the Israel. He didn't know the queen was Israel to plan to kill the people of Israel. I don't want to die, said Esther, but Esther loved her people. Queen Esther went to King Xerxes. Without his permission, the king welcomed her. The king loved her. King Xerxes promised Esther to do anything for her. Please help my people, said the Queen Esther. A bad person is going to kill my people. He is trying to kill me. The king didn't like it. The king loved Esther. The king told Haman to stop it. Queen Esther saved her people. Esther and her people were not scared anymore. They were happy because of the brave Queen Esther. Mm, let's revise yeah. the story. Let's revise what we read. I think you can that we did very many stories. I think we can make this very short, and we can tell. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, so Naaman is a great army commander in Syria, and uh, one day. He got some bad injuries. It's a disease. It's leprosy. And he he wanted to go. The girl, the girl, it's a servant. She said to see the prophet Elisha in Israel. And she said that he can heal you. So he heard that. And he went together with his servant man. And then... Um, Alicia, he didn't came out, but he um, said to his servant to go out and said, um, wash yourself seven times in the Jordan. And then um, Alicia was mad because um, he didn't come out to him in the sea. Oh, uh, I think that Alicia Nana was mad at Alicia. Oh yeah, now I was mad at Alicia. Yeah, because he didn't even came out, right? Oops. And um, the servants told him that he should go, even though he did not came out. Since yeah, I think the servant really cared, Naaman. So Naaman said what Alicia said, and then his skin disease was gone. And his um, skin was like a child's skin. Yes, and he become happy, and he wanted to give Alicia a gift. But then Alicia said, "Just um, like believe God, and serve God." Joshua loved God. 
and he didn't uh, did what God pleased. He wanted his people to do what God pleased. God's temple was not good shape. The God's people did it. Uh, take care of the temple. So, uh, the king Joash made up a box. When the box was full, king servant took the orphans out and the money was enough so he gave the money to the workers and they made a good temple. Chapter 30 Building a New Wall So the story is about Nehemiah and he was a servant of Persian king and one day, Nehemiah heard some sad news at the palace. And it was about the wall of Jerusalem broken down and the gates of Jerusalem burned. And so Nehemiah cried so much and he prayed. And the king asked Nehemiah, he said, why are you so sad? And then Nehemiah said, The temple of God in my country is ruined. The gates of the city are burned with fire. The king loved Nehemiah. He liked Nehemiah, and so he was worried. So he asked Nehemiah, What do you want me to do for you? And Nehemiah said, Send me home. Please allow me to rebuild the wall. You may go, rebuild the wall. I'll give you whatever you want. The king said, so the king gave Nehemiah blocks so that he can build. And also he took the blocks back and returned home. Blocks and returned home. And Nehemiah also got some helpers. But some people didn't like to rebuild the wall. Sanballat and Toba, Tobia, they were angry at the idea. But God helped Nehemiah build the wall. It was also very not easy to build a wall, rebuild the wall, but they built the wall with God's help. 31 chapter, Bray, the brave Queen Esther. Uh, Uncle Mordecai said to the Queen Esther, Haman is going to kill the people of Israel. But uh, Esther cannot. Um, so, what I said, so, said, please ask the king to help us. But Esther couldn't do it. Esther could go the, to the king only when he wanted. Uh, she didn't want to go, but she went and said, I don't want to die. The king loved her, so uh, I will. Uh, the king seriously promised Esther to do anything for her. <laughs> Please help my people, said the queen Esther. A bad person is going to kill my people. 
The king didn't like it. The king told Haman to stop it. Queen Esther saved her people. Yes. Today I read four chapters and we revised it. It was fun. Yeah. And bye. Bye. Thank you. Uh,